Before we dive in, there's going to be an exclusive link below for Saki Tech viewers for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 with the following benefits. Instant free $50 Samsung discount and then all the usual benefits. Up to $1,000 in trading credits if you trade in your old smartphone and free 512GB storage upgrade. These are limited time offers during the pre-order phase which ends on August the 11th. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video, I am going to be sharing all the multitasking tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is a multitasking powerhouse because we have that large display and I want you guys to know how to maximize your ownership. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now the very first thing I want to quickly talk about is the taskbar which you're going to be working with a lot. So if I were to launch any application right over here you can see that the row of applications you see on the main screen get minimized and they get dropped down as a taskbar at the bottom right here so you can always access these applications easily all the time. Now one more thing with the taskbar is if you press and hold right here in an empty area next to the actual taskbar it is going to disappear. Okay so look at that press and hold it just disappeared and what that is allowing me to do is it is allowing me to focus on the application in a real full screen view. And of course I can bring the taskbar back by tapping on that area at the bottom right here. Okay, you can see tap and hold pops up for immediate use. So that is a taskbar and the reason this is important when it comes to multitasking is you can drag and drop applications to create your split screen windows. You can see the color changes, it is now black, let's press and hold to make it disappear and again you can get that full view even when you are in the multitasking view. And like I said, press and hold in that black area at the bottom and it's going to come right back up. And of course when it comes to multitasking, uh, you can go up to three apps at the same time. So let's just grab one more and you also want to pay attention in the middle here, let me just tap on that now, in the middle right here when you tap this button you have a couple options okay now one option is when you tap it and tap it again the one on this side it rotates your multitasking view to give you a different view in which you might be able to work a little bit better you can tap it again and if you tap it it's going to rotate one more time you can see it keeps changing the orientation of the apps to get you that best view. Now one more thing you can do of course is you can press this and you can minimize it this way, you can push it that way and even these applications there's a bar there that can be pushed up and down as well so you can create the perfect trio of workspace for your particular need. Now the best part is let me just bring everything to the middle so it looks nice and clean Let's say you were to launch three applications just like I did. In fact, I'm just going to do it from the beginning so you, you, you can see it in real time. So launch this, let's grab the calendar, dump it right there, and let's grab Samsung Notes and dump it right here. So let's say you have this workflow that you use all the time. This is just an example. I have the calendar, the notes, and the calculator. All you do is, again, you tap in the middle and you tap on star, okay? When you tap on star, it is going to allow you to save these three windows as an app pair and you are going to be able to add this to your taskbar, your home screen, or your app's edge panel. Now just to make it easy, I'm going to tap on home screen, okay? So it says app pair added to home screen. So look at this, I'm going to cancel all these applications, but here I have that app pair created and I can tap this. And as soon as I do that, it is going to recreate that same workspace, which is also modifiable based on your needs. So you can have as many app pairs as you want on your phone to access a certain workflow anytime you please. Now one more thing with the taskbar, you can see at the bottom we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight applications. And of course, to customize the bottom row, you can just drag and drop apps. So if you, don't, if you don't use a calendar all the time, you just take that away. Now I have seven apps, but I can have up to eight. I can grab this and I can put this right here. Now I have eight applications. And also, if you want to make this even more useful, you can take any one of these applications, put it away, and actually drag and drop a folder. 
okay? That folder is gonna stay there and it's gonna give you even more access to more apps. So now when I tap on calculator, those apps, the changed ones, are gonna appear at the bottom right here. Now one more thing you wanna know about the taskbar is if you go to the settings and if you go into the display and if you scroll down, there is an option here for the taskbar right over here you are actually able to disable the taskbar if you don't need it and it's just gonna look like a regular phone. So just like that, okay? Never gonna see a taskbar if you don't need it. Okay, so tap and go into display, taskbar right here, enable. Boom, it's gonna show up right there. And here's the option, show and hide with touch and hold. So press and hold to, to hide or press and hold right here to show. You can disable this as well, so it's all gonna be up to you. Now, one more thing with multitasking, again, we're talking about multitasking specifically in this video, is let's say I launch an application, I can also bring up the Recents app screen, and any one of these windows that I want to use as, as a split screen, I can tap on it, and I can tap in Open in Split Screen View, and then it's gonna open that application on this side, on the left side, and then from here you can pick any other application you want that you want that to work with. Tap on calendar, boom, we are good to go. And you can also create app pairs for two applications, okay? Tap, and you can say home screen, and look at this, I have this one, that's for three applications right here, and of course I have this one for two applications. They don't restrict you to having three apps only. You can have two apps as well. One more thing, if you launch any application again, and if you go to the Recents app, um, I mean Recents view, and if you tap over here, you also have this option that says Open in Pop-up view. So that's gonna get you a calculator in the pop-up view, and then you can tap on this line here, and you can even minimize it, and you can keep this on the side, Whenever you wanna use it, you tap it, boom, 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 and then you can put it to the side again. You can have multiple apps on this side, by the way. So if I have settings, let me show you. Tap, open and pop up. So that's the settings. If I minimize this, it's gonna get bundled at the bottom right here, and I can access this as well. If I tap on it, it expands both my pop-ups, and I can access whichever that I want. So. While I have something like this, for example, let's just do this way. Launch the Chrome application, and let me just drag a calendar right here. I can also have these still here and use them as pop-ups, okay? So there's so many ways to multitask. So I'm working here, I'm working here. I might need a calculator to make a calculation, but instead of having it right here as a third application, okay, I can just have it on the side as a pop-up. So use as you please, and then minimize, and boom, boom, you move on. And finally, talking about multitasking, I'm gonna show you one more thing. This is called drag and drop. So let me just bring up Gmail as an example. I'm gonna tap over here. I'm gonna say open in split screen. And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna be able to tap over here, and actually it's right here. I'm gonna open gallery. So now I have split screen. So let's say I wanna send one of the images that I have in my gallery as an email to somebody. I do have the option to drag and drop items and just put them right here as you just saw, okay? So I can do this one, just drag it, boom. So now I can send these as attachments in that email so you have that drag and drop functionality between many applications. This is just a simple example. So that's even better multitasking. Final thing I want to mention, if there's an application you're looking for to do, uh, let's say, split-screen multitasking, you don't have to only use these applications. You can tap this button here, and you can access any application, okay? So now from here, I can grab this app, and I can put it right here. Perfect, all right? So I do have access to all my applications by tapping this button right here, in the taskbar, so I do recommend you have that taskbar available all the time. All right, that's it, guys. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.